Now, guns are dividing the American voters with nearly equal numbers taking up opposite sides and rival arguments in the gun safety debate. And according to a Pew Research polling, U.S. presidential contestants Joe Biden and Donald Trump also have different and opposing views on guns and gun control. Our VOA correspondent Scott Stearns reports. Take a look. Nearly a third of Americans say they have a gun, according to the Pew Research Center. It's a constitutional right that often becomes a political issue for presidents when there are school shootings, including this one at a Florida high school in 2018, which ended with police evacuating students hiding in their classroom. Then President Donald Trump met with families of the victims to talk about gun violence. It's been going on too long, too many instances, and... We're going to get it done. As President Trump's gun policies focused mostly on strengthening school security, including suggesting that teachers be armed. As a presidential candidate, Trump told the nation's top gun lobby Saturday that guns are vital to personal safety. Our country is going to hell. Rapacious gangs and ruthless criminals are terrorizing our streets, and crooked Joe Biden's weakness has us teetering on the edge of World War III. Accepting the National Rifle Association's endorsement, Trump said Biden is trying to, quote, rip firearms out of the hands of law-abiding citizens and gut gun rights guaranteed in the Constitution's Second Amendment. We have to have a Second Amendment that's meaningful. If we don't, we're going to have levels of death and destruction like this country has never seen before. When a teen gunman killed 19 children and two teachers at a Texas elementary school in 2022, President Biden said, quote, we have to act. As a nation, we have to ask, when in God's name are we going to stand up to the gun lobby? When in God's name we do what we all know in our gut needs to be done. The White House and Congress agreed on a bipartisan plan expanding background checks for younger gun buyers and helping states remove firearms from people who pose a danger to themselves or others. Biden is campaigning on those tougher laws, especially in communities marked by gun violence. I signed the most significant gun safety law in nearly 30 years, which I know matters to the community that I mourn with. And I remember... In Atlanta, Half Moon Bay, and Monterey Park. There's been no further gun control legislation since Republicans won control of the House in 2022. House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries blames Trump supporters. Today, the MAGA extremists in the do-nothing Republican Congress are leaving town without meaningfully addressing the gun violence epidemic in America. U.S. voters' views on guns divide largely along political lines, with Pew Research data showing Republicans and Republican-leaning independents are more than twice as likely to own a gun as Democrats and Democratic-leaning independents. Scott Stearns, VOA News.